Yo, what's up people? My name is Sarachi and I'm back here in the Water Satisfactory. Okay, hope you're keeping well. Okay, at the end of the last episode, I briefly kind of showcased the, the front entrance here of a new build that I've um, that I've recently finished. So on this episode, I'm going to go over this build and also the small factory that I've done that is feeding this, which is where this train is heading off to now. They're both pretty small builds, to be honest, and uh, there's not like a huge amount of production going on in uh, either of these. So this is the... Um, the factory that's bringing well producing as you can see there on the two belts that are coming down from there silica and that's copper sheets that's the train going to the machine and the quarry which drops off the steel and iron to petra and then this one of course is taking all the either uh, silica and the copper sheets uh, coming over to the other side and um, we've got the two belts here of quick wire all being produced at the top there and then being sent down to the, the lower half of the train station is of course uh, to make its way onto the the new build actually you know what's ended up happening with my game so this top right desert section has ended up being kind of like where the ancient civilizations are so we've got the three obelisks we've got the gold gate um somewhere here we've got petra here so this desert region Kind of, kind of the northeast side of the map. Uh, there's a few exceptions, of course. This is like the, the ancient civilization, which is perfect because it's like the desert area. On the northwest, we've got very modern, abstract, kind of like a um, futuristic kind of design. So the, we've got the the shard, uh, the quarry, the machine, X3, and of course we've got the main ones, Atom Industries, both the main factory and also the, the high tech version. On the bottom right section here. We've got Infinity Works and also the um, right over here we've got the Chain Foundry and the Chain Works. So this bottom right is very industrial with also the Mega Extractor. And so each section has got kind of like a different style. I've realized without even actually planning this. And right in the middle is Eden. What I was thinking to do, continue this section being very modern, high tech, futuristic kind of style. Also the uh, environment kind of predefined the dimensions of this build because of these obviously huge um, rock pillars sticking up from the ground they really did define really the kind of dimension that i'm allowed to build with because i wanted the train station to be down here so uh, the train can obviously continue the route and go all the way to the new build that's just on the left there i mean i know i could have of course built a bit further up or a bit further down to get to get away from those two big pillars but i kind of like the challenge and the um, working with the, the available terrain coming up to the top here two pure actually it's a great location to start a mega factory you got two pure copper nodes one uh, there's one right underneath here so they're both pure copper nodes and then coming over here you got four pure iron nodes and just here you got a pure limestone god the game is so laggy and then you got two pure quartz nodes here another pure limestone and just down there you got a pure coal node and of course you've got loads of coal nodes over there like three or four i can't remember a ton of oil in the in the spire coming just over here we've got two caterium nodes um where you just you can see that the the belt just ending there at the bottom of the bridge there you've got two sulfur nodes so this part of the map really is quite convenient for nearly every single resource you need the only kind of one that's a little bit difficult i guess i mean excluding uranium i mean there's a uranium node just at the top of that mountain by excluding uranium the only one that's a little bit far a little bit difficult to get here is bauxite otherwise you've pretty much got everything you need at this location and uh but yeah i kind of built there because i wanted to use quartz and copper and caterium which are literally right at the top there as you saw unusual style build modern futuristic abstract um yeah something like that anyway inside again nothing too special we just got the um, I like using these recipes actually for copper ore, uh, this alloy ingot recipe. One foundry outputting 100 copper ingots is just brilliant. And it only really needs iron ore as the, the second resource. And because iron is so abundant in this map, I really like that copper alloy ingot recipe. I do think it works out quite well a lot of the time. As you can see, I usually color code my machines. So you can quite easily see which machines are doing copper, which ones are doing the... Um, uh, the quick wire and coming down to the bottom floor more constructors doing uh, copper quick wire and at the end here we got the um, uh, the silica so just a basic factory inside and that's producing everything I need um, from the metals to produce five supercomputers per minute so as I mentioned it's just a small production and nothing too big the other requirement was actually um, what's it called the I needed some well about 200 plastic and uh, 70 80 rubber roughly and I've got one of the trains that starts in Eden that literally 
like kind of goes around kind of like a transport train allowing you to go around and visit all the places and one of those trains goes all the way up to the bottom right here where infinity works is and i had a fair amount of excess plastic and rubber and usually i do get around to using all my excess and if i produce a lot over i always keep it in mind and eventually i'll get around to using it so uh, I got around to bringing in that excess plastic and rubber from Infinity Works. I mean, if you haven't seen my videos, you won't know what any of these things are, but uh, yeah. On to the next build. Okay, so the idea for this build was a very minimalist and clean, uh, simple build. Pretty small inside, a very 20 machine, so I uh, don't expect to see a lot. Because it's producing like supercomputers and things like that, so I thought I would do a very high tech, um, yeah, very modern, very clean, quite minimal. Uh, build with all of the concrete foundations uh, they're all being painted the same color uh, as the as the like, the terrain so lots of dark concrete the same as like the the mountain that's around us and coming on straight ahead we've got a few light uh, light panel controls here for the various areas and as usual just try to put some signs to make it a bit more immersive and um, bring it a little bit to life with animated signs and we've got a glimpse here of the, the canyon where Petra is just over there. God blimey, it's so laggy. Uh, coming past the, the light controls. So as I mentioned, I was doing some production here for plastic as I didn't have enough. So um, I've got two refineries overclocked producing just under 100 plastic. What I did, I decided to use the byproduct heavy oil residue uh, to put just a couple fuel generators. Just add a little bit of variety of machinery in the build. At the entrance here, I just think it makes it look uh, quite industrial. I think it's kind of cool having two uh, f large fuel generators at the beginning here with the entrances. Oh yeah, this place is called, well I've called it the Four Pillars. Uh, I should explain that first, shouldn't I? If we come back to the outside. So I wanted to use this sign, uh, this symbol, and as you can see it's got four dots and you can see here there's like two large pillars at the front and just at the back there there's another uh, large pillar and further back there's another large pillar. I mean loosely there's like four large pillars there. Uh, they kind of blend and merge into each other in multiple places so it's kind of hard to distinguish one pillar from the other um, but just very loosely. Um, I wanted to use that symbol so, uh, so I thought okay so what can I find in this environment that would suit that, well would kind of make those four dots um, coherent and make sense to the build so I thought okay there's roughly four pillars there and uh, I'll call it the four pillars and then I can use that that symbol and get away with it alrighty anyway so yeah it's called the four pillars and let's go down the inside so as I mentioned I tried to um, well, I was trying to keep this build as minimal as possible in terms of the foundation used and so for example here underneath the train station and I've only got a tiny section in there where I've got all of the output of the train going into three or four uh, three containers as a buffer in the middle there there's three or four splitters uh, directing some of the items to go that way using the foundation to run uh, conveyors through the foundation so in most of these foundations there's either one two or three belts i've kind of talked about this before on another video i personally don't see any problem with that i know some people might think well running uh, and clipping conveyors through foundations is, is not proper you can do it without any mods in the vanilla game um, it lets you do it and in terms of realism as i've mentioned before as well if you're that advanced to have space elevator space travel content technology quantum pocket inventory i mean that's pretty advanced i mean surely you can envisage uh, some conduit tunnels being drilled through a concrete foundation to funnel resources through them i just don't think it's unrealistic at all and this structure here is very similar to atom no uh, infinity work sorry got like a, a structure that's very minimal and allows me to have some logistics in between each floor and it's very clean and as you can see i've painted all the foundations uh, the same colour as the, the rocks and here we're doing the circuit boards at the top and the right and those two are doing AI limiters and then those will come back here to the centre and then rejoin in the middle there and then head their way over here where on this side I'm doing the, um, as I mentioned, that plastic just under 100 plastic and I'm taking the heavy oil residue byproduct uh, turning that into fuel which you can see the pipe there uh, at the beginning as I mentioned to those two uh, fuel generators at the beginning but very clean uh, simple uh, structures painted the same color as the rock uh, to try and blend in and then the plastic will come and join the middle here along with all the other goods and then come onto the last section which is doing the well ultimately the supercomputers along with the computers and uh, high-speed connectors there's six manufacturers inside heavily overclocked again to 
uh, keep the uh, the build to as small as possible so if we come on to the inside we can see the um, so I've tried to use the back of the manufacturers because as I mentioned as this is like AI and robotics uh, the reverse side of the manufacturers has those robotic arms so I thought it would be quite fitting to have those robotic arms on show the first two ones are doing seven and a half high-speed connectors each that's so 15 and then the next two are doing five computers each and then the last two are doing the two and a half supercomputers each giving us five supercomputers in total and at the end there we got a nice view and we can actually get a glimpse there of Petra as well and you can see where I'm funneling some conveyors to bring in that excess plastic and rubber from Petra as well and as I didn't want to put a drone here as I, as I was trying to keep it quite minimal I'm also sending the supercomputers onto Petra's drone port as well so I didn't have to build a uh, another drone port at this location and probably you got a glimpse of it as I was moving around in the middle here uh, I tried to make this a little bit more immersive so I put a well I tried to build something that is a supercomputer as this place is producing supercomputers so I thought we'll have a huge mainframe quantum supercomputer kind of like sitting in the middle because uh, it's quite minimal it's quite empty this area because I haven't put too much as I mentioned so I tried to fill it up here in the middle with a little bit of extra detailing a lot of man station here uh, trying to give the impression that that MAM is like maybe the control center. Uh, and we've got a panel here as well to access this uh, fake supercomputer, quantum supercomputer mainframe in the middle there. Oh yeah, and some random detailing kind of structure at the top there. Because it was quite empty actually. I did go a little bit too minimalistic with this when I finished it. So I thought, okay, let's add some uh, random detailing there. So you can see here we're in the Spy Coast. Uh, there's the symbol and the four pillars. So that's pretty much this whole build. There's not that much to show. We've got roughly 2,000 items per minute coming off the train. Um, there's no conveyors on show. Well, there's a few there actually. You can see a couple of the conveyor lifts. Um, but other than those, and uh, there's no conveyors on show. It's all pretty, pretty minimal, pretty clean. Trying to keep each build a little bit unique, a little bit different. And I think this one's pretty different. I quite like the supercomputer, the mainframe uh, fake supercomputer. Even though these end parts are very simple, I mean, it's literally a box of just detailing with um, the pillars and signs. And again, with this, it's just a box basically with pillars and signs to bring it a little bit to life. Even with a very simple structure like that, just by adding lots of signs and a little bit of fancy lighting, you can kind of bring it to life and make it a little bit more interesting as well. Four pillars in the Spy Coast producing five supercomputers. As I said, trying to keep each build fairly unique and uh, and different from anything I've done before. But you know what? I really am liking this minimalist and discreet, subtle camouflage entrances from Petra and here again from the Four Pillars. It's like a bit like a TARDIS, and uh, this one is much more discreet than even than the the Petra over there. I mean, if it wasn't for the sign and the obvious train track heading that direction, you really could miss that completely. And other than that, there is no other giveaway from the front to know that there's anything um, behind there. So the two new builds are done, and we have this factory here, which I've called SVC, which is producing the quick wire, the copper sheets, and silica. And together with plastic and rubber coming a little bit from Petra and the majority coming from Infinity Works, all coming here to the Spy Coast for uh, pillars, doing some advanced AI and robotics manufacturing uh, with their very own quantum supercomputer. I have to think of a name for this supercomputer. This can be called STIN actually. Hold on, what could STIN stand for? Super Technologic, no. Superfluous, Tenacious, Inclinations, Negative, no. Silly Tenacious Indigo Nats, no. Oh, how about this one? Sanitary Torpedoes Incoming Now, no, no, no. Super Top Invisible Nanobots, not quite. Spider-Man Trapped Inside Nan, no, no. Synchronous Tech Indivisible nonce. Hold on. I oh, know. Soft teddy. No, no, hold on. Seven terrified integrated knobs. Wait, wait, wait. Simultaneously terraforming inside nymphs. Soft trapezoid ice nebulous. Not quite. 60 tactful identical nuns. What? Severely talented identical nachos. Soft terraforming illegal nail clippers. Sad teachers immigrating to Naples. You know what? I've got no idea. I'm going to stop. I can't think of anything that really abbreviates of S T I M STIN. Anyway, anyway guys, I think I'm going to call it there. Thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed, and uh, maybe I'll catch you again soon.